How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Zack and I told you so. I've been saying this for years. I have many many videos here on the channel and it's finally here. If we go to settings, under charging optimization, we have the 80% charging limit right here on the iPhone as a native feature. Meaning that when this is on, when this is toggled and checked as you can see right here, your iPhone battery will never charge past 80%. If I plug in my iPhone right here and leave it charging for days, it'll never go above 80%. It's here. So let me tell you everything you need to know. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, I have to tell you that this new feature, the 80% charging limit is exclusive to the iPhone 15 series. So not just the 15 Pro, but actually the 15 series. So 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max like this model right here. And I do say for now, because we don't know if Apple will make this feature available for all their iPhones in future iOS 17 software updates. So we have to wait, and of course, I'll let you know. Okay, so by now you probably know that charging your iPhone past 80% is bad for your iPhone battery. Lithium ion batteries don't like being charged past 80%. And this is super easy to tell. When you charge your iPhone, this first part from zero to 80% is super fast, right? And then from 80 to 100, it takes a lot of time. And this has to do with the physical and chemical properties of lithium ion batteries. So not just iPhone batteries, but any smartphone batteries, notebooks, even electric cars. So they don't like being charged past 80%. I actually have other videos here on the channel where I go in depth on this topic. I actually show you articles, papers, and a ton of technical information regarding this specific thing of charging past 80% and why it's actually bad for iPhone battery. So if you want to take a look, card here, link in the description if you want to learn why this happens. Now, and that's why this is such a huge deal, because now if you go to settings and scroll down and tap on battery and then battery health and charging, under charging optimization, we have optimized battery charging and of course 80% limit. And let me tell you the difference between those two because optimized battery charging has been around for years. This is not new, but as you know, it doesn't work as we expect because first optimized battery charging can't really be turned on or off because it's an automatic feature. It uses AI and machine learning and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends a lot, so it's not really a on-off feature, even though you can enable it, but it pretty much works when it wants to. And even when it does work, it's not exactly what we expect, because optimized battery charging works like this. Um, it's gonna work most of the times throughout the night when you're sleeping. So then you go ahead, plug in your iPhone, it starts charging, and then when it hits 80%, it stops, and then it's gonna stay at 80% for a few hours, and then when you are about to wake up, it's gonna charge it to 100%, so when you wake up, you have your iPhone at 100%. So first, it doesn't work every day, it doesn't work all the time, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Second, even when it does, it's not gonna keep at 80%, it's gonna eventually charge to 100%. So it's gonna help you, but not so much, because in the end of the day, when you wake up, it's gonna be at 100. So it doesn't really work, it doesn't really help and save your battery that much. And on top of that, it generally just works when you are at home and sleeping, and not on your everyday use, okay? But here comes 80% limit. When you have this feature turned on, there's no such thing as AI, of machine learning, of anything like that, it's always gonna work. So it's not gonna depend on iOS doing anything, no, 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 as soon as you tap here, it's always gonna stick to 80%. Plug your iPhone, it's gonna charge to 80% and stay there for hours, even days, if you leave it on the charger. It's never gonna go past 80%. It doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what you're doing, it's not gonna work sometimes, no, 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 it's always gonna work. It's an on-off feature that will always work and it will always do exactly what you want, limit your battery charging to 80%. 
And the way it works is really clever, actually, because when the feature is turned on and checked, like mine is, and you go ahead and plug in your iPhone to the charger, it's gonna charge to 80%, right? And then after some time, iOS will automatically disable charging, and then it'll start going down, right? 79, 78, 79, and then when it reaches 75, iOS will automatically re-enable charging, and then it'll go to 80% once again, and then it'll keep doing this to prevent your battery from aging and degrading so fast. So it'll be doing that 7580, 7580, 7580 uh, throughout hours that you leave it on the charger. And this is so, so good because keep your iPhone at 80% all the time isn't ideal either. So doing this process of small discharge and recharge right here is so, so, so much better for your battery, all right? So, uh, that's how it works. That's 80% charging limit right here on the new iPhones 15. Hopefully, hopefully, and I do really hope this comes to all iPhones running iOS 17. This will be so, so good. And from now on, my iPhone will always have this feature enabled. And I don't wanna be that guy, but I told you so, and I've been saying this for so many years. So if you are one of those people who hated me who said bad comments and really doubted my work, the comment section is open down below so you can say sorry, all right? So that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.